What's up guys and welcome back to F1 2020. My goodness, dude, the team is on top of the world. We just got our first ever podium finish in the last episode. It was incredible, such an amazing feeling and uh, the vibes are fantastic. Morale is at an all time high and uh, everybody's at work. Everybody's feeling like all of this effort, all of this time, all of this money that we've invested into this project is really starting to come to form. So uh, I'm excited to see what happens. You guys can see we've got the Spanish Grand Prix happening this week and we actually have a very short uh, week ahead of it. We've only got two days we can work on, on anything. Uh, we can do weight training to work on the pace of our second driver. I just feel like I don't want to invest in our second driver right now if he's not going to be our permanent second driver. I, I plan on replacing him eventually, so that's why I'm kind of skipping over those. Uh, driver promotion filming is going to give us some acclaim. Uh, durability team building is going to give plus 5% morale to durability. Sponsor promotion is going to give us some team acclaim. And then podium. Ooh, are you kidding me? Absolutely. Podium celebration party. Dude, that is crazy. That's going to give plus 5% to everyone. It's going to cost us 15K. Well worth it. Then I guess the only thing we're going to be able to do otherwise is to do a, a promotion filming. So we've got that going on. Let's check out our... Uh, I mean, we've got 1.5 million. I don't think we're really going to be able to invest in much here. You guys know we're kind of focusing on aero, which we need uh, 2 million there, 5 million there, 5 million there, 2 million there. So that's not going to work. Chassis, I might consider investing in, but I feel like, yeah, those are all, those are all at least 2 million. I think some of the durability upgrades we could potentially get or our, uh, our personnel upgrades we could get. But like I said, I, I don't, I don't really... If I do this, see, if I if I upgrade this facility, that's got to carry over to the next driver, right? I would imagine. I mean, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it off for now because I'm just I'm gonna focus on our aero. I think aero is the most important department for us at the moment, but. Um, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll, I'll think about that for the future. For R&D here, we're going to take a look at our tree. Let me see what they are recommending for us. So 40% failure chance, 40% failure chance. Do we have anything in aero? Insufficient points. Um, in development, insufficient points. We need 1,100 points to be able to do those. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm thinking we might as well listen to the chassis guys here. Let's improve our chassis. 40% failure chance makes me a little bit nervous, but we're, we're going to go for it. We're going to roll the dice. We're going to hope for the best. Hopefully it doesn't uh, doesn't end up failing. So it looks like we're good. I think we're going to be good to... Uh, let's just go ahead and advance here. Advance time. We're going to head into our race weekend. We're going to put in some work. And uh, man, this is going to be fun. Now, I don't normally show you guys practice, but I was thinking it might be kind of fun... If we did like a track acclimatization thing, and I just, I showed you guys my first lap. So like no practice at all. First time hopping out here. Let's see what happens. So we've got some new parts that have been put on the car. So that's good. But uh, yeah, we're going to hop out here. We're going to try to drive through the, right, try to nail as many the cones. As you can. The faster you get through each corner, the higher the score. And we're going to see what we can do. So I'm I'm not gonna show the full practice, but I'll I'll just do I'll I'll do one lap with this, and then I'll I'll do the rest of the practice, and then I'll catch you guys on the uh, on the qualifying lap, and we can see see how we improve. Which might be kind of a fun way to do things. So here we go, Catalonia, España, viva España. Let's get it, baby. Let's see let's see what kind of what kind of performance we can put up here. Got to stay fast through that. So we're looking. We're looking through for purples through all of these. Actually looking pretty good so far. Holy cow. All right. Go ahead and hit that. Keep it purple, keep it purple, keep it purple. Yes, sir, dude, let's go. Woo. Slow it down, but keep it in the purple. Usually purple, you have to be like high end green or in like clo close to the yellow. You know what I mean? Like you gotta, you gotta really be, really be pushing it. Oh my goodness, dude, we are actually having. DRS zone is coming up. Get ready to open it. Oh my gosh! Arguably one of our, our best first laps ever on any track. We are straight murking this. Hopefully, this is a sign of what's to come. That's gonna be a green one. Nope, it's purple. Ooh, be careful here, Trev. Oh, we missed it! No! No, dude, that's gonna 
kill us. We had purple on literally everything else except for those two greens. Oh, that's a green. No, dude, that hurts me. That's looking good. Now let's try for purple. You'll get a bonus for consistency if you can chain good corners together. We need 470 points to get the max bonus on uh, on the resource points for this challenge. So I'm gonna have to run through and, and actually get purple all the way through here. I'll see you guys after we've completed all of our practice sessions and it's time to qualify. All right guys, so we made it to, to qualifying here and to practice went really well. I mean, you guys saw our first lap was pretty good and then from there we only got quicker and better. Uh, I will say our pace was a little bit off. It, it's it's kind of weird. Like I, I feel like we had one of our best performances ever, but our time compared to other people was slow. And I think that's because of the track and because of our car setup. So uh, we've never really gotten into this in this game, but it's it's pretty legit. So you guys can see we've got some some different preset setups here, and then you could have custom setups. And so far, we've just been racing on this balanced default setup. It's kind of a jack of all trades. It's good at everything, not great at anything, not bad at anything. It's just solid. With a track like Catalonia, you're going to want a little bit less downforce and a little bit more top speed. A little bit less drag because you've got those long straights and lots of, of high action things. We do have a couple of technical corner areas, but it's not going to be something like Monaco where it's all corners. Something like Monaco, you would obviously want a lot more downforce. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know what we should be choosing. I'm going to choose custom setup. We're going to edit this thing. You guys could see we could change our fuel load. We could change our arrow and everything else. I found a website that has the optimal setup for Catalonia here. So for uh, for Aero, it looks like we're gonna be going with a four and an eight. Then for transmission, 65 and then 90 for differential adjustment off throttle. That's a pretty big difference. I hope this website's good because I'm, I'm really I'm really putting a lot of a lot of trust in it. We want a, a 2.8, 1.4, 0.9. .09 and then 0.41 on on the suspension geometry for suspension uh, Looks like we're gonna be going all the way down soft. We're gonna have a nine on our anti-roll We're gonna have a seven here a three and then a four so you guys can see we are, are dramatically changing the uh, the internal like components of this car here 87 and 54 is what we have on this. I hope this is a good call I don't know. I guess I guess we'll we'll see what happens. Front brake bias 54, and finally tires. Our tire pressures. We go 22.6 in the front and 21.5 in the rear. So uh, I'm just I'm gonna yellow send it here. Let's uh, let's go to the track. We'll see what happens. Here we go. We're gonna get to it. Holy cow, dude! We probably should have practiced with this in practice off the bat. I would imagine that would have been a good idea, but uh, I guess I guess we're gonna find out. We're all the way back at P19 right now, which is is probably not where we want to be. P20, P19, <laughs> dude, what in the world? I feel like we were putting in good times on this track too. I, it, it's so weird. So, something's going wrong, dude. We we just we just got a, a podium in the last episode, and now we we can hardly qualify better than P20. Maybe that's straight just to, I mean, we're, we're climbing here. We're back up to a P12. Maybe broke a little bit too hard right there. We're down to a P13. It's looking like this might not be our, uh, might not be our, our best performance ever. Got to be careful through here. Back to a P12, back to a P14. Got a break through here. This is the most technical part of the track. I don't like this section at all, dude. It's really, it's really hard. Uh, push it out, push it out, push it out, push it out. We got a P14. I guess you win some, you lose some. I don't know if I should be trusting this site or not. P14 is, is one of the worst... One of the worst qualifications we've had thus far. What's up, Louie? It's it's good to see you down here in the, the back half of everything. Shoot, dude. Carlos Sainz qualified P7. I mean, this is kind of his home his home 
Grand Prix, of course, he's going to be showing out. This is rough. He, he is... He's going to get us on the rivalry this time around. That's, I mean, it's just crazy that, like, literally nothing has changed. Like, I felt like I did great in practice. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Great work? Really? Are you happy with where you'll be on the grid tomorrow? Um, I'm going to give Arrow a compliment, whatever. <laughs> How do you feel Even though it's not really is great. going for you? Is the car competitive? Uh, with a bit of development of the power unit, I think we'll get there. Car is great, but I think we'll need to develop a chassis. Team's really t gelling. I think it's going to be a great season, so long as it doesn't wear out too fast. All of these are going to hurt one of our departments, so I'm going to say as long as the team is gelling, we'll, we'll be off to a great season. Oop, oh, I accidentally pressed B. Well, thanks anyway. I pressed the wrong button. I meant to... I meant to to select that one and I, I did the no answer option. So it looks like Carlos is is gonna gonna gain a point on on there. I'm a little bit worried because I think I think he's gonna he's gonna show out big time on us today. I kinda hope he wrecks. I that's kind of an inappropriate thing to say, but other if he doesn't wreck, he's gonna have a field day against us here. But yeah, like nothing's changed. I haven't changed any difficulties. I haven't done anything and all of a sudden we're going from getting a podium to being in the very back of the grid. It's going to be a great weekend for racing, Prix fellas. Been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. The circuit de Barcelona. Let's see if we can add an iconic moment today. I'm kind of feeling like throwing caution to the wind, and we are gonna be balling out. Package and bravery on the part of the driver, especially through the blind right of turn nine, which we might just see taken flat this weekend. I don't know, man. Like we're we're caught up in the back of the pack. Like I feel I feel like we're in striking distance. We might be able to make something happen here. But at the same After time, I kind of feel like being aggressive. Let's aim to keep the momentum going. Aim to keep the momentum going. I mean, obviously, like, getting points is, is our focus here. We want to get into the top ten. I think if we played it super smart and had a good pit strategy, we might be able to make that happen. But at the same time, we are going to have to race pretty aggressively here. Like, we're going to have to make some passes. We don't need to be erratic, but we do need to be aggressive. Oh, wait a second. We jumped up. We're in P13. That that actually kind of changes the game. That we, we are three positions from getting into the top 10 here. So we've got a right off the bat, but I think we want to be on the outside because I think it, it moves into a left. We'll see what we can do here. I'm going to try to try to see if we can can squeeze our way in somewhere. Woo! It is it is a hot one in Spain today, that's for sure. Well, we gained a position. Hold on a second. We don't want to go flying into these guys. Aggressive move to the outside. Is it gonna pay off? Is he gonna be able to is he gonna be able to, to make this work? Woo! Oh dude, we were right! Right next to that Reno, we jumped up into P11, dude. That was that was. <laughs> I said we wanted to be aggressive. I almost feel like that might have been a little a little too aggressive, but we're we're just we're we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. Don't let these racing points get up there in front of you, Trev. Come on, hang in there. We are gonna have to use some ERS. We've been saving it up pretty much the whole lap here. Let's get through this, the most technical part of the track. We're gonna enter our our overtake mode and let's see let's see if we can get around them Whew. okay that'll be enough I'm gonna take it off oh nope he's pulling back ahead I'll put it back on take it back off break late take him around the outside and take it to church there it is that's what I'm talking about all right we're doing okay holy cow I thought we were going to have like a whole race to try to fight our way into the top 10 and we got into the top 10 after the first lap. Not the best qualifying that we've had, but that that was some that was some wheeling and dealing right there. I tell you what. Whew. Hopefully we can keep it up. Now, one thing that we do need to do and ah, man, it's so tough. My quick select buttons aren't working. So let me let me let me try to edit this real quick. 
Uh, controls, feedback, edit this. I've been messing with this so much and it's just, it's it's not happening. We need our MFD shortcuts. I don't know, dude. I, I unbinded everything and we should be able to do it through like the, the normal menu now. Like if I just use my D-pad, I should be able to scroll to it. It's not going to be as easy. I have it set up in, in practice just fine. It works perfectly. I'm not sure why it, it doesn't it doesn't carry over here to the races. And I realize you guys may understand what I'm saying. Basically, there's there's a spinny knob on my wheel that should allow me to put it into like, you know, hot lap mode and overtake mode and stuff like that. And it's is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. It's working perfectly in practice, but it's it's not working in the actual races. Like it, it changes somehow. I'm not sure what's happening. So we're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. That's good to hear. Hopefully we can catch up to Perez here. I'm going to put us in, in overtake mode a little bit there. We need to, to get as much as we can. That front straight, I would I would think if we could get within a second and get DRS along with the overtake mode on this next lap, then we should, we should be able to get around them. Stay on them here. Stay on them. Stay on them. Overtake mode and you're going to have, you're going to have DRS. You should be able to get them no problem here. So it's a right-hander. But we want to be on the outside. Try to get behind him. Woo! A little bit of contact there, so we were not able to get around him, unfortunately. Holy cow. He put up a fight on us. I think we might have to put overtake mode on earlier. Woo! Getting up in there, dude. Like swimwear. But I give you a wedgie, homeboy. Come on. Let's go. I thought you wanted a race. I really don't want to run into the back of him, though. Whew. Watch out for those sausage curbs, Trev. Ah, oh, dude, is he is he really going to pull off on us again? No, we got him this time. I got my overtake on. You're in the top 10 now. Keep it up. I got my DRS, dude. We can't get around him. I don't know what to tell you. I really want to dive bomb that corner, but that's not going to work. Whew. So we've got, we, I mean, we, we, we're in the middle of this fight, so I'm not really paying attention. We've got engine wear. I guess this is race six out of 22 on the season. I think we get three power units. So mathematically, it, it checks out. Um, that we would, we would be starting to get a little, a little bit light. Obviously, power from the engine is going to be down slightly. It's showing some minor wear. Did it! Great overtake, Trev. Was that clean? You guys gotta let me know if that was clean. Holy cow. Okay, he keeps talking about our ICU and he's he's making me nervous, dude. He's he's making me real nervous. Make it through here. Here we go. So we're gonna go back into overtake mode. Get around here. Oh my goodness. Pit lane's open. We want to pit this lamp, so push now. All right, I'm going to take our ERS off. We're good to go. Holy cow, dude. I am. I feel like this is the best racing that we've done. We got to push hard on this in lap and hope that we can make up a bit of time with the guys in front of us. Who's in front of us? Lando and Seb. So we, we might potentially be able to get out in front of them. Now, to be honest, I don't, I don't think we have the car. I don't think we have the pace to actually stay in front of them. But if we can get in front of them, then that's going to solidify our, our spot. If we can end up with a top 10 after qualifying what was a P16 and starting P13, that's going to be pretty dang impressive, dude. Went into overtake mode there for a minute. Keep taking care of them. Whew. Tires are, are not liking us right now, that's for sure. This section is, I, I just, I don't even know how to handle this section, dude. So we're doing that, and then we go straight into the pits here. Metal is stopping now. Got a break. All right. We're in the pits. So it looks like Lando and Seb both, uh, oh, almost an unsafe release right there. They both went into the pits. We're the last pit stall. Come on, be fast, be fast, be fast, be fast, be fast. 2.3 seconds. Woo! Oh, that was... 
Schedule pit stops. That wasn't Lando, that was Carlos Sainz. All right. 2.3 seconds was, uh, was, was pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. I'm okay with that. Our ERS is back up to 60%, which isn't bad. And let's, uh, let's just push. Let's see what we've got going on. Let's see, see where this ended up, see where our strategy ends us. We were not the first team in the pits this time. Um, seemed like a pretty quick pit stop though, so hopefully it's gonna end up working out in our favor. The gap to the car behind is 2.7 seconds. 2.7 seconds behind us, that's good. Ooh, kind of cutting a corner there a little bit, Trev. Let's, let's not get sloppy here. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to go as fast as possible and catch up to signs. He's free from Latifi now, unfortunately, so he's going to be back to his, his regular race pace, which is typically around what we do. Sometimes a little faster, sometimes a little slower. He's a beast, though, so we just... we got to put in some, some good laps here if we want to try to catch him. Dude, I feel like he's so close, but so far I want him so bad, I just don't know if we're going to be able to get him. Come on, baby. Gosh, these corners where they slow down, they really make you think that you're catching up, and then those F1 cars just take off so fast, dude. We've only got 40% ERS, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up here. So we are catching the car ahead, but I I just I, I don't, if you want me to be honest, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think the pushing's good because we're going to put more distance between ourselves and Perez behind us. I really like this section of the track. I think this section's really fun, going over these curbs, watching out for everything. This section I'm, I'm starting to get a bit more ballsy with, just lifting a little bit rather than braking. That one wasn't our, our smoothest transition, but you guys kind of kind of get what I'm saying here. Whew, took that one a little bit wide. This this section is, is the technical section that I just, I, I don't... I don't really like. I mean, we are putting up some good times here. We're putting up green sectors, which is is good for us for sure. We're keeping uh, keeping the racing point at bay at least for now. Hopefully, I'm trying to try to save up a little bit of ERS, mainly using our overtake mode on uh, on this straight section of the track. Just build up as much speed and distance as we can. It was about a 1.8 second difference. Now we're at about two. So. That's good. As long as we can keep that type of performance up, at least for now while we have grip, then when our tires start to degrade a bit and our lap times start going down, at least we'll have a, a pretty good cushion to be able to work with. So hopefully, uh, hopefully all's well that ends well, man. Not gonna lie, it's kind of a boring end to the race. Ideally, literally nothing happens and we just, we just run the next, uh, the next six laps without any issues, but uh, man, heck of a start of the race for sure. Some information on Giovinazzi, they are out of the race. Giovinazzi's out. Feel bad for Alfa Romeo. I don't think that's gonna have any effect on, on our race. I think he was behind us, but uh, I mean, that's, that's one less person in the field, I guess. Okay, we're reaching a danger point with the wear on the MGUH. Overheating the engine will exacerbate the issue, so keep the temps under control. I feel like you're telling me to, to slow down and it's not happening. I don't know what to do in this case. Let me let me check. Whew. I mean, we have a little bit of time to play with. Let me try to check here. So is is that engine, the yellow engine there? Is that, I, he said something about an MGU, MCU. We talking about Iron Man or what, bro? I, I don't know what you're saying. Our boy behind us is catching up. So we, I mean, we, we gotta, we gotta focus here, Trev. The turbocharger is on his last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. I mean, does it have two laps left? Cause that's all I need out of it. Does it not want me to use ERS? What do you, what do you want me to do here? You're kind of stressing me out. I feel like it's gotta have two laps left, right? And then we could swap this thing out. Don't tell me that you busters put together a car that can't that can't handle one or two more laps. Probably shouldn't be using our ERS and pushing the engine to the absolute maximum. So I'm 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 gonna cool it a bit. I might try to I might try to kind of coast some of these corners a bit more. I mean Paris has, has definitely caught up. And we are definitely slowed down. 
So I, I don't know what the best course of action is here. We need to catch up with the car ahead. The gap is around five seconds. All right, you're giving me mixed signals here because you're telling me I need to slow down due to the engine, and then you're saying you got to catch up to Signs, who's five seconds ahead, which would mean a major push. Which one do you There's want? One lap of fuel remaining. One lap of fuel remaining? We've got a lap and a half to go. Bro, what is happening? I'm about to fire every single one of you mother suckers. Are you kidding me right now? And now we got a dude in DRS striking distance of us. Our ERS is almost full though, so we're fine. I'm, I'm trying to drive a little bit slower. I'm trying to let it coast a little bit more. But we're going to need everything out of this engine in a straight line here. I, I, I'm sorry. I need literally everything. Okay. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Dude, he's coming up on us. Woo! Final lap of the race. I hope we've got gas. I hope our engine makes it. I just, I, I hope, I hope this works out for us, fellas. 17 laps of pure freaking bliss is what just happened right here. Those first few laps were so amazing. It was so much fun. Just wheeling and dealing, baby. Hang in there, Trev. I'm gonna go ahead and use the overtake button a bit through here. Speed us up a little. Come around through here, we're good. He's about half a second behind us. Come through here, hang your tires off each one. Overtake button, this is where he's got DRS. He's not gonna catch up to us. Try to break as late as you can. Come around this corner. Woo! Those, those tires are feeling a little slippery, huh? All right. Overtake button, turn it off. Come through here, you've, you've got full control of everything through here. Just find your line, find the spot, accelerate, hit your overtake button, and we should be able to get, get through to the win. Or not the win, the P9, the finish. That's the end of the race, we'll see you in Park Fermi. So we had a, a horrible, a horrible qualifying run. A crazy start to the race where we were going around all kinds of people, had a couple of points of contact. Literally drove the thing till the wheels were falling off. And ended up coming out with a P9. We'll take it, dude. Holy cow. That one was stressful, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, that, that was one of the most stressful races yet. So it looks like Hamilton won. We took P9. Louis got 18th. Let's go, Louis. That's what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, from the uh, the perspective of our rivalry, we are going to come up a little bit short here. I think Great signs is there today. Let's have your thoughts. Let's talk to the press here. You were cutting your way through the field during the race. For sure, it's so easy when a car handles like this. Chassis department noticed that. It looks like your rival bested you today, doesn't it? Um, his... Ew, I don't want to throw my team under the bus. I'll be humble. Why not? Appreciate your time. I didn't want to say his car was better. I also don't want to say he's a better driver. But I'll take the one that isn't going to affect our future performance. So he got a total of four points there. That's going to put him one point ahead of us. Uh, he's, he's got 13 points. We've got 12 Reward is 1700 to claim, and we've got four more races to claim it. So, uh, going to be interesting to see where that goes. Looks like we've leveled up to level six. Louis is, is still a level five. We're about seven and three quarters on our team level. We did get the bonus $184,000 for talking with the press. And overall, that was a pretty successful, successful weekend. It wasn't a podium like we had in our last episode, but that was successful.